My name is Garth Smith, and I specialize in original arrangements of the hymns on the piano. I've been classically trained, and I've been involved with music all of my life. And lately, I've turned my attention towards producing music, which hopefully brings people closer to the Savior. And I've had tremendous commercial success and critical success in my first Sacred Hymns series. The first album that I released was called Sacred Hymns, and it was a collection of hymns I had been playing over many years, and many people had approached me and requested it, that I record them for many to enjoy. And the second album was after people were listening to the first album, I received many uh, letters uh, from people who said that they listened to that music on the way to the temple, and I thought, what a great idea to have the temple be the focus. And so the second album is called How Beautiful Thy Temples, Sacred Hymns, Volume 2. My third album will be called Behold the Great Redeemer, Sacred Hymns, Volume 3. The older that I get, the more that I realize that the happiness that I have in this life is due to me turning my life over to the Savior, Jesus Christ. The atonement means everything to me. If I were to describe my music, I would use the words personal and intimate. The singular nature of the recording, in this case using a piano as the instrument, is a prayer to God. It's like a physical representation of my prayers to God. What I feel when I'm playing is a feeling of such love and devotion to the Savior that I'm hoping to connect with the listener's feelings of love and worship for the Savior so that we can connect musically in worshiping Him. I think that one reason that this music has resonated with many is that we all have a need during the week, whether it be on the Sabbath day or whether we're driving down a busy freeway or when we lay down at night to reflect on the day. We feel a need to escape the world for a moment and to focus our thoughts on more spiritual things. One of the most fulfilling aspects of being an artist in the LDS music genre is to hear the accounts of people who write to me or who approach me in a fireside that they may attend and tell me how the music has changed their lives. I realize that these special experiences are not necessarily because of me and my accomplishments, but because of the Holy Ghost who sometimes uses music as a medium to touch the hearts and lives of God's children. I think that every artist has a secret inward desire to touch the lives of other people. My prayer is that this new collection of arrangements will have the power to draw people closer to the Savior. That motivates me more than anything in doing these arrangements.